My name is Cassie Chiris and I work for the Washington State Department of Agriculture as an Outreach Specialist. Today we're going to learn how to be community scientists and trap for northern giant hornets. By participating in our trapping program you could potentially help find new detections and prevent the hornet spread. The trapping program starts in July and it runs through October. We ask that you find the materials to build and service your traps weekly. Here's the materials that you'll need to build and service your traps. Clear plastic bottles, somewhere on the larger side, it can be a round 2 liter ounce bottle or like 64 ounces. Rice cooking wine, which is mirin or sweet sake, with an alcohol content of 10 to 25%. Orange juice, 100% um, juice, breed to little no pulp. Box cutter, permanent marker, some string or twine, ruler in centimeters, measuring cup, strainer, some water, and a clear plastic sorting tray. The first thing we need to do is go ahead and build our trap. So go ahead and grab your bottle, your permanent marker, and your ruler. We're going to look for the top one-third of our bottle, and we're going to draw a horizontal line that is two centimeters in length. Then we're going to go to one edge of that and draw a one centimeter horizontal line down and a one centimeter horizontal line up. Flip to the other side and repeat that, one centimeter down and one centimeter up. What you'll notice you'll have is an H shape on your bottle. I'm just going to go ahead and darken these lines in so I can see them when I cut it. So after I've drawn that H on my bottle, I need to get out my box cutter and I'm going to use those lines as a guide to cut. So I'm going to cut along my horizontal and my vertical lines. This helps create tabs. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully push the top tab in and the bottom tab out. So you can then see that I have tabs for the hornets to land on as they're coming near my bottle. And you're going to want to repeat doing those tabs on the other two sides as well. So top tab in and bottom tab out. Once the tabs or the entrances for the hornets on my bottle is made, I need to go ahead and put a bait in it to help lure the hornets in. This is where my rice cooking wine and my orange juice comes in handy. It's a half a cup of each. So I'm gonna pour my half a cup of my rice cooking wine in and then I'll go ahead and pour it into my bottle. Now, trick, if you pour it into the side that doesn't have a hole in it, you're less likely to spill on yourself. You can buy large bottles of orange juice from the store, but these are 4.2 ounces, and four ounces is half a cup. They're close enough in size that I'm just going to use them. Now the bait solution is made, I'm gonna go ahead and put my lid back on the bottle. My bait solution's in my bottle. I need to grab my string or twine, we say at least three feet, because you're going to need to secure this to the top of your bottle and then have extra to hang up in your tree. My bottle trap's ready to hang. I need to select a site. Look for a tree that you have regular access to and look for a tree branch that is six to nine feet up. When you go to hang your bottle from the tree, the side that doesn't have an opening needs to face the inside base of the tree. This is mine. After my bottle trap's hung, I need to go ahead and log its location. So I'm going to grab out my mobile device and go to WSDA's Hornet website. Once I'm on their website, I'm going to log my trap's location and it's going to give me a trap number. Once I have that number, I'm actually going to write it on my bottle trap. This will be helpful for when I go to service my trap each week. Each week I need to go back to my trap and service it. This means I take down my trap, empty the contents out, see if I've captured a northern giant hornet. When you strain your bottle, if you pour with that side that doesn't have an opening, you won't spill on yourself. So go ahead and strain your contents out. And you'll want to use that water to rinse it off so you can have a better look. And you're going to look through your contents. If you suspect to have captured a northern giant hornet, we ask that you take a picture and report it to us. If you haven't captured a northern giant hornet, just go ahead and rebait your trap and hang it back up. Thank you for becoming a community scientist and learn how to trap for northern giant hornets. 
By participating in public trapping, you're helping to protect Washington's agriculture and natural resources.